Alrighty, folks, what is happening today? We're going to be playing some Shiri Nui zombies today, pure Shiri Nui's. And uh, we've opened up, I guess, a decent hand. This is not the greatest hand of all time, but we do have Soul Charge. So I think I want to. Do I want to go the Soul Charge route? Because I can. So I can um, actually send a card right now. I want to see what this pan has. He doesn't have anything. Okay. So we can send Goblin Zombie. But we can always get that out. So let's send Gozuki. And then what we're going to do here is also discard Banshee. Because that's what it is. And then we're going to Soul Charge for two. Um, just going to get two of these out for free. Gozuki and Banshee. And then we're going to use this. We're going to send ourselves the Mizuki. Then we're going to be able to go Vampire Sucker using those two. Then what we're going to do here is use Mizuki for Unizombie. I'm going to put that right there to draw a card. Oh, penalty game. Now that's just amazing right there. Um, that's actually a really good card to draw. So what we can do is actually... Oh, fuck. That was an accident. I was not supposed to do that. Um, so we can target this. And then we can go straight into Goblin Zombie. Or we can go Glow Bloom. I mean, that's something we can definitely do. Um, but I think this might be better. No, we don't want to summon to our opponent's side of the field. I know what you guys are wondering. Well, how the hell is that better? Well, folks, what we can do right here is we can go ahead and start. He doesn't do anything when he dies. So we can start off with uh, Spirit Saga, with something that you definitely want to get on the board. So her, did she banish from hand too? No, just from graveyard to face down. So then what we're going to do here is we're going to grab a glow bulb. So, cause we can use the saga to just come back from there. Um, so yeah, like I said, we can technically use her, but we don't want to do that right now. So we're going to do is set this and then in the good thing about saga is you, you, you don't have to control the monster. Your opponent just, I mean, you don't, you, they don't have to control more monsters than you. It's just when your opponent controls another, I mean, see, this is why it's so beautiful. This is exactly why it's so beautiful. And he hit my goddamn what's the name. So it's cool though. We're gonna call spells. And then now, cause he hit, he, he just wanna hit the fucking best card in the goddamn game. So now he can't, now he can't do anything. Now he can't use any more spells and traps. That twin switch should pretty much shut him out of the game. So now he's locked to straight monsters. He can't use Union Hanger. He can't use Terraforming. Um, and there's a gold gadget and we already have something for that. So we're not even worried about that. I'm going to banish the gold gadget out of his hand. I mean, out of his graveyard. So now that doesn't resolve. Um, yeah, he's going to surrender. We're going to save the replay because we're going to see if that was um, the uh, be all end all. So what we're going to do here is definitely side in these kaijus. Um, we don't have anything to really side with these ghost reapers. This card should not be in my side deck. Um, hmm. Do I care? Uh, you know what? Hmm. Do I care about str evenly match? Now we're definitely going to take out these penalty games because definitely want to do that at one second. Definitely want to keep these in. Gold Sark is good to keep in. Um, also, we want to take this up because these are slow. Spirit, uh, what's the name of slow? So we have three Kaijus. Uh, I'm thinking about what else. I think Twin Twisters may be good going here. Definitely take out Soul Charge for uh, what's the name for game two. Um, and you know what we're going to do is probably cut a burial because you don't want to open up too many burials. I really kind of want to put what's the, you know what? I think I should take these out for the third twin twister and the ash i think i do but ash really doesn't hurt it really doesn't hurt uh abc so we're gonna keep it like this and just hopefully we can uh beat him game two where oh he's gonna let me go first that was um that was very surprising but that's fine we'll start with this once again um and <laughs> it always happens it happens every fucking time i choose to uh i choose to uh just have a fun time at Yu Gi Oh. this shit happens right here so here, I'm definitely going Shogun Saga first turn. And what we can do is just use her effect for free. Um, we can banish um, Spiritualist, uh, gain 300. Then we can use Spiritualist's effect to go ahead and discard this. Now that's even, it's even better. So now we can do that. Oh my God, are we actually gonna be able to make a great play with this? We are. Uh, we're gonna use Sunset. We're gonna grab back Spiritualist and Mizuki. Look at, look at the synergy, folks. Look at the synergy. So that's kind of like a two-card combo right there. So we can use these two to go sucker. 
Bam. Oh, wait, we can only special summon. Ah, fuck. We can only special summon it once per turn. But that's fine. We just need that free draw, which is cool. Oh, well, that's. Why are we drawing all of these cards? Uh, we can also go Splendid Saga. And then, what? Fire Monsters can't be sure by battle? Yeah, Fire Monsters can't. Wait, right? Am I reading that correctly? I don't want to. I think Synchros can't be destroyed by battle, right? Synchros cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay. And then Fire Monsters can't be destroyed by battle. All right. So. Yeah, we're definitely going to go Splendid Saga here. Oh, wait. That's actually fucking bad. And once again, the uh, the misclicks is uh, real close to real tr ah, crucial. Um, but this is fine. This is fine. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't play Mech Knight ABCs. And I think we're good. Gear Town. Okay. Oh, we're dead. Oh, that's what's going to happen. He, he's going to kill me. Oh, that's fine. We'll take this death. We'll take this death. Um, with everything in our, uh, you know, and oh shit. Okay, yeah, we're we're just dead. I know we're dead. One hundred and forty thousand percent. Um, we're dead unless we get. Um, oh, is there a way we can actually stop this? I don't think so. Oh wait, no, nope, it's not a quick effect. Fuck. And why do I? Why did I put it right here? That's crazy. Um, yeah, he's not gonna be able to do that for free though. Why? He's playing Gear Town ABCs. That's that's a little wild. But um. Let's see. Oh my God. I'm definitely losing here. There's just no way I'm surviving. There's no way I'm surviving. Oh my God. And he has a wyvern? Bro, please don't tell me you play fucking the, the, the fusion. Oh, okay. Thank God. Wait, what? Something gets a fusion. This gets a fusion, correct? All right. So hopefully he's not able to kill us. Um, But yeah, man, if what's the name was quick effect, we actually would have been decent right now, but it alas is not a quick effect does any of these things pierce hold on let's put on always chain does any of these things pierce um i have a feeling he's gonna go into a link probably um phoenix i would say uh this one pierces okay if this card attacks the defense position monster clear inflict piercing damage um when this card okay all right Wait, what? You could describe. Oh, I lost. I lost. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, oh no, we're we're alive. We're alive by the skin of our fucking teeth, folks. We're alive by the skin of our fucking teeth. We're gonna be able to kill him too. We're gonna be able to kill him because he's gonna go into this, hit me with three thousand, but he can't die by battle. Then he's gonna probably attack into this. Take. I'm gonna take seven hundred. He's gonna attack with this. I'm gonna take seven hundred. That's that's m the most we can take, unless he has some. If he has this polymerization. Um, the most we're probably going to take is, um, hold on, let's hold A. Hold on, folks. We're going to hold A. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to hold A. Um, the most we should take. Okay. Mrs. Fucking Ready. Never mind. Boost everything I just set up by 500. So instead of uh, 44, we're going to be taking an extra 1,000. So it's 54 now. Okay. That's, once again, that's all fine. We know he has three monsters in his hand. If... Okay, we can still activate shit during the damage step. So that's fine. It's just we can't do it on that person. So what we're going to do, we're going to discard Mizuki. Then we're going to special summon Shogun Saga right on over here. Right? So once again, all this is fine. Wait, wait can... What does this do? If this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate... Oh wait, shit, spells, monsters, and traps. Okay, so we're definitely not going to allow him to just beat us over like that. I'm going to use Spiritualist 2. <gasps> oh, there's the burial. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're going to take that 3,000. We're 3,500. Never mind. Um, he's not able to do this again, though, so that's fine. He's able to attack this, but this doesn't pierce, does it? Oh, it does pierce. Okay, we'll take another 35 fucking 100. I didn't know that both these pierce. Wait, what? This doesn't pierce? Oh, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, he, he yeah, he's done. He's done. GG, folks. Pack the fucking bags up. You're, you're done. You're done for, bro. 100% done for. And if I wasn't being a dumbass, uh, if I didn't have her right, it, this person right there, I could have vanished. Yeah, we. Oh my god. There's a foolish, too? Is that what y'all want me to play with? Foolish as well? Oh, okay. All right. So, with this being said. Ooh, we're gonna we're gonna be doing a lot of things here. We're definitely gonna be able to it's, get over his whole entire board. Can what can this do? Uh, Synchro monster destroys the monster on the field. All right, so I can banish itself, and then it would uh, pop. Actually, what does this do if this dies? If this card is destroyed, you can add a polymerization. 
if you do add a gain from, from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, so that's fine. I don't, you do have a Wyvern in your graveyard. So start with Foolish Burial. And you know what? Just in case you have some weird shit, we're just going to give you this right on over there. Um, then we're going to activate you. And we're going to banish Spirit Master. Spirit Master is going to do the thug this. We're going to pop this. And then what we're going to do here is use uh, Mizuki to go ahead and bring back Sun Saga. Uh, we actually could have got back what's the name first, but never mind that. We're going to banish uh, Spirit Saga. Everybody gains 300. Destroy a monster on the field, which is going to be Mrs. Radiant. Oh, yeah. So he's 2,700. He's 26. That's, you know, there, none of this is a matter of damage. Once again, you can use this. Uh, sadly, she can only be special summoned once per turn, so we can't get it back with Sunset. Um, but we do have another Mizuki. So we could just bring back Vampire Sucker for free, which we probably should have did first. Then we can normal summon this. Yeah, you guys already know where this is going, right? You guys already know where this is going. So now what we can do here is send... We can actually send Solitaire. And then go, what's the name? Uh, and then pretty much go from there. But I kind of want... I want what's the name though. I want Juchel. I want Juchel out. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to gonna use these two. Uh, actually, we're going to go... Uh, you know what? No, we're going to give him a monster for free. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to give him a free monster. We're just going to give him Gigadank so we can get a free draw. Uh, free draw. There's a Kaiju. Oh, we can special summon it to our side of the field. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go summon Sorcerers. We're going to use that and that. Bam. Then we're going to target you. We're going to actually going to get out. Uh, we, no, 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 no. See, I was already about to make a misplay. We're going to get a Bloom. Right? Yeah, we're gonna get our bloom here. We're gonna get our bloom. We're gonna use one, two, three, and four. You know what? No, no. Let's use the kaiju. Let's use one, two, three, and four. Um, to go scoldy. Yeah, let's go scoldy. One, two, three, and four. Let's go scoldy. Bloom defect. Scoldy defect one and two. Um, and then what we're going to do also is chain this. And now, we, like I said, we're just styling and profiling on this man right now. Styling and profiling, folks. Going to give him a... Yeah, we want to special summon the monster instead. Bam, right on over there. Skull D draws me four. There's another burial. We'll put that that and Mazuki back. No chance for this man. Then we're going to activate this as well. Going to banish... Uh, what's the name? We're going to banish uh, what do you, what, my own Kaiju. Then we're going to activate this young burial and then we're just going to put damage and I mean damage folks one two and three let's put all three back we're going to just put damage on here folks and I mean damage we're putting damage on this man we're putting damage on this man man don't talk to me about damage um yeah we're going to do this gonna go bam and then with this we're gonna be cheeky what we're gonna do is we're gonna banish unizambi so then we can get back what's the name we can use this to bring back unizambi and uh what's the name spirit master this this cool place just cool place folks and then also what we're gonna do is go into zombie necro or free and it's boosted up by 300 and then what, if a zombie monster, wait, when another zombie is destroyed by battle. So now, go straight into the battle phase, attack with Skoldeet. Nope. Gonna kill young Girgit X. We're gonna use Necro Dragon, and we're gonna bring out his monster out of his fucking graveyard. His ancient gear reactor, Dragon, we're gonna bring it out, and he's gonna get killed with that one. So we're gonna hit him with also a 46. Boom, we're gonna hit him with a young 46. Uh. Then we're going to hit him with a young 31. Uh, we're going to kill him with his own monster, folks. We're going to kill him with his own monster. And this is the power of Shirinui's, folks. See? Look at that. Look at the power of Shirinui's coming through with the OTK. Woo! Now, that was special right there. He was not able to capitalize because we're, we weren't able to be destroyed by battle. Woo! That's pretty good. That's pretty good. See? The Link 3 does come in handy. Um, 
But like I said, man, if the level seven was that, all she has to do is be a quick effect. And my God, is the the, the the card a lot better? And then Sun Saga. I mean, whatever the Link monster. Is, I don't even know the Link monster's name, but whatever her name is, is just even better. All right, folks. So here, once again, we're gonna check out the replay that we just saved. And oh wait, he actually didn't have any more <laughs> spells. All right, so penalty game didn't do shit. But uh, I guess, I mean, I, I, yeah, he just didn't have anything. I thought he was playing ABCs for some reason. Um, all right, so yeah, the penalty game didn't do anything. All right, so that was uh, it's mind blowing. It hurts. All right, folks, but yeah, here's the side deck. Like I said, Ghost Reaper is just no point for it because I have literally nothing else to side. So, um, with that being said, uh, what else is some two more cards that we can put in here? Um, shit, I guess. Um, a lot of you guys said threatening war uh, and the, the whole thing I don't care about attack as you can say I, I you know I don't care really about splendid soccer that's her name I really don't care about attacking uh, I, I I can deal with attacking it's just that I want to stun my opponent and that's what this is for so if they have any other spells and traps in their hand they're not actually able to activate and do anything to pretty much counteract me like I said they have to beat me off of monsters alone and yeah that was not happening uh, as long as uh, pretty much uh, that's pretty much not happening with penalty games. So another cute thing is that uh, uh, there's a zombie deck that got uh, I think 13th place, and um, you guys uh, you guys left comments and told me um, pretty much to check it out and stuff. And yes, I did see it. He does play trap tricks. So what we can do is we can just throw trap tricks in his deck, and then that'll pretty much solve the whole equation. I think you know what? Let's let's just try that out right there. Let's just try that out for size. Always wanted to play trap tricks, but that shit's like thirty dollars or how much ever it is. Um, you don't want to open up with this, so we're gonna cut that down to two. And we're, we'll, we'll do fifty. What's the name? We'll do forty-two. I mean, uh, but yeah, like I said, he was playing rivers and stuff. Uh, we, we technically can play it in here. I mean, there everything is zombies, but uh, yeah, we're probably just gonna hold off. Um, like I said, I, I like penalty game, so we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still play with it. I'm be a little, be a little stubborn with it, but yeah. Uh, we need two more cards for the side deck. Okay, so with that being wait a minute. Okay, no, I was talking about the what's the name? I seen his list, and a lot of people are saying, "Oh, why are you playing Soul Charge and stuff?" It's because I I, I and didn't burial also. I love burial. Burial at three is great. Burial at two is great. Um, I really love burial because I really love the power of Mizuki. The reason why he wasn't playing burial in the Soul Charge and stuff, um, he wasn't playing. I don't think he was playing Goblin Zombie. Uh, he was only playing one Mizuki. But because he was just focused on basically stunning his opponent out. And yeah, like I said, that he, he did get a 13th place. And I believe because of his tiebreakers, he got 13th. But yeah, man, he, he doesn't play Barry. He doesn't play Soul Charge. But like I said, he doesn't really play too many combo pieces in the deck. He plays Gold Bloom, uh, uh, Double Wesley, and Donald He even played Terraform. He's trying to get to that Zambu World quick and fast and then flip that rivalry and pretty much control the game from there. So uh, it's pretty much, yeah, a better version of my stun, I guess. Uh, because... Yeah, cause I I, put, I still I still hang on to the uh, combo cards, but yeah, man, uh, shout outs to him, man. He did do the thing with zombie. I'm still waiting on the YCS Sydney deck. I want to see how they played their deck. I really do. I'm very intrigued about the deck. But yeah, um, back to Shiri Nui's, which come out no less. I think this week. I think is it this week? I'm not sure. Let me see. What is, when is the? Uh, no, it's uh yeah, I think it is Saturday. No, is it Saturday or is Sunday? Um, I mean, I don't think it's the 26th. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, um, we need to figure out two more cards for the side deck. I don't even know really what to put in here. Um, needle fiber may be coming out because uh, you know what? Let's save that for next uh, next video. But uh, I don't know. I'll figure out some cards to put in here. Besides that, I will be back. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. If you guys want to help the channel out, links are in the description down below. You guys can donate to the channel using Patreon or just donate to the PayPal. Uh, and also, you guys can just click an ad or you guys can do both. Click an ad and also donate to the channel. I appreciate all the help and support I get. I'm still trying to go to uh, Chicago, so I, I'm still trying to get there. But we'll see how that goes. But besides that, that is it. And I will be back in a couple hours to stay.